This video covers the advanced options of the 5 Star Restaurant Reservations plugin, describing what each option does and showing a before and after visual where appropriate. The Dining Block Length option sets the amount of time you expect guests to be at your restaurant for their dining experience. This is used to calculate restrictions based on guests or reservation numbers, as well as what tables are available to be selected. When toggled on, Enable Maximums restricts booking based on how many reservations or guests have already made a booking during the requested time. The Max Reservations option sets the maximum number of reservations at one point in time. The plugin takes into account the dining block time length, so that you can't have more than the maximum number of bookings overlap. The Max People option sets the maximum number of guests at one point in time. The plugin takes into account the dining block time length, so that you can't have more than the maximum number of guests overlap. The Automatically Confirm Below Reservation Number option lets you set a specific number of reservations below which any new reservations are automatically confirmed. The plugin uses the dining block time length so that any overlapping reservations are taken into account before confirming them. The Automatically Confirm Below Seats Number option lets you set a specific number of guests below which any new reservations are automatically confirmed. The plugin uses the dining block time length so that any overlapping reservation party sizes are taken into account before confirming them. The View Bookings Page option allows you to specify a page on your website where upcoming bookings are displayed. You can use the Date dropdown to view upcoming reservations on a future date. The View Bookings Columns option allows you to specify which booking information should be included in the View Bookings table. When enabled, the Keep View Bookings Private option only displays booking information on the View Bookings page when someone is logged into your website. When enabled, the Check in Arrivals option adds a checkbox to the View Bookings page which can be used to mark guests as having arrived. This can be useful for following up with guests who are late, and is necessary for the late arrival notifications to work correctly. The MailChimp API Key option allows you to specify the API key for your MailChimp account so that guests can be automatically added to a list you specify. The available list will be populated after the API key has been entered. The Audience option lets you select which MailChimp audience lists you would like your guests to be added to. The Opt-in option lets you choose whether or not to show a checkbox prompting users to sign up for your MailChimp list, and whether or not this box should be pre-checked. The Opt-in Prompt option lets you specify what text you would like to display beside the MailChimp opt-in prompt. When toggled on, the Enable Table Selection option allows guests to select which table they would like to be seated at during their booking. Tables are created in the area below. When enabled, the Require Table Selection option requires guests to select a table before submitting their booking. The Sections area allows you to specify different sections within your restaurant. Examples could include patio, bar, or dining room. To create a section, click the Add Section button and fill in the section name and optionally give the section a description. The section name is displayed for guests during the booking process to help them choose a table. To delete a section, simply click on the delete link to the right of the section. The tables area allows you to specify the tables that are available for guests to book in your restaurant. When table selection is enabled, visitors will be able to select which table they'd like to be seated at when they make their booking. To add a table to the list, simply click the add table button then fill in the table number, a minimum and maximum number of guests that should be seated at the table, what section of the restaurant the table is located in, and then list any other table that can be combined together, separated by commas if there are multiple. To delete a table, simply click on the delete link to the right of the table. When a visitor goes to make a booking, tables that meet the party size they have indicated will be listed in the tables dropdown. Visitors can then choose which table they like to be seated at. If the party size is too large to be accommodated at any of the available tables, the plugin will check to see if any tables can be combined to accommodate the group, based on the combines with data specified in the table setting.